Hey guys, so this is about my, like, one millionth time filming this intro because of the lighting. Like, my face looks so pale, and I'm really, the color of my shoulders, like, this tan color, like, I'm not pale like this. So, I don't know why my camera and my lighting is making me look so pale. Like, I've even tried both my living rooms. I've tried just holding the camera up. I've tried sitting where there's not so much light. Nothing helps. So, I'm just going to leave it alone. And this is a tutorial. Um, I guess it's like a two-in-one. It's using the Elf Tinted Moisturizer, um, kind of like a demo. And then also um, for the eye look that I'm wearing, which I kind of put together this morning. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, you can keep watching. Okay, so I just um, like got out of the shower and stuff, so my hair is all wet. Um, and I already moisturized my face. And today I'm going to be doing kind of like a demo or how I wear my e.l.f. tinted moisturizer. Um, so to start off, I have a lot of redness in my face today. So I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Studio Secrets Anti-Redness Primer, which is just like a green primer. <clears throat> and I like to use it with this e.l.f. angled like foundation brush. So it just gets them on the brush. And then I kind of dot it where I want it, and then I just kind of like blend it out. So once I have the primer on, that's when I go in with my concealer and I cover up any spots. Sorry if I'm like moving the camera. It's because you guys are like standing on my little drawer thing, so it might be a bit shaky when I open it and stuff. Sorry. Um, so I'm using, well, I might, it depends. I'm using the Hard Candy Glamouflage and the Garnier Nutrition East Anti-Dark Circle Roller. Which I'm gonna go in with in I'm gonna go in with in I'm gonna go with in first. So for my under eye circles, I usually like to first go in with this one, the Garnier Nutritionist Roller. And if I feel like by the end when I'm completely done with my makeup that my under eye circles are okay, because I feel like sometimes they're worse than like other days. Um so if I feel like I need more coverage, then I'll take my benefit erase paste. And when I'm completely done with my eye makeup and everything, then I'll put that on. So that's pretty much it for, like, under eye concealer. And now I'm going in with the Glamouflage, the Hard Candy Glamouflage, just to cover up, like, any dark spots. Or discoloration that I have around my face. So once I am done with concealing and stuff like that, I'll go in with my Elf Tinted Moisturizer. And I like to apply this different ways. Sometimes... I like to use this little mini kabuki, kabuki, kabuki brush from Eco Tools, or sometimes I'll just take my whatever foundation brush I have, but since I used this with it yesterday, I'm going to use it again today. And for the tinted moisturizer, I'm in the color Sand, but to be honest with you, I think I need a lighter one, because this one, it has like pink undertones. So it makes me look pink, which is not good because I already have a lot, I feel like I have a lot of redness, so it like kind of makes it worse. But I'll like show you guys how I even it out because I really do like the actual product itself. I just think I got the wrong shade because I ordered it online, so it's kind of hard to like pick your shade online. But now they have them available at like Target stores or certain Targets. So I really want to go and get my actual color, maybe get a lighter one and mix them up. But I have like, I bought like three of these so I have to use them up before I can buy any more. So I put some on the brush just like that and then I kind of just dot it everywhere. Too much. And then I'll go in and like blend it out. I used to use my hands with it but I don't like getting stuff on my hands. Like, the only thing I'll use is concealer, and that's already pushing it for me. Okay, so once I have the tinted moisturizer on, like I said, I feel like it makes me, well, it actually looks fine right now, so I'm not... Um, sometimes if I feel like I'm too off-colored, but this is actually, like, my perfect color, I'll go in with the MAC Studio Fix, but today, since I think it looks fine, um, I'm just going to go in with the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Pressed Powder, 
Um, it has like SPF 20, so I'm getting lots of SPF today because the tinted moisturizer also has SPF 20. My moisturizer has SPF 15, and then this has SPF 20. It's a lot of sun protection for me today, which is like perfect because um, I'm actually getting ready. And I'm just applying this with this Make Kabuki brush. It's like a flat top Kabuki brush. Um, but today is actually my cousin, nephew, um, his birthday party. So, that's what I'm getting ready for. Okay, guys, so this is basically the look we're going to, I'm just not done, but as far as eyeshadows, sorry, I had a hair on my face. As far as eyeshadows, like, that's pretty much it. Um, I already primed my lid with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And now I'm taking this um, Smoky Shadow Blast. It's kind of like an eyeshadow stick. Um, I don't know the color of it, but it's kind of like um, like a coppery bronze brown. If you have the NYX Jumbo Pencil in French Fries, you could use that or it's similar to that. Um, but I don't have that pencil, so I just, I'm going to use this. And you just want to get this all over your eyelid. And you're going to just blend that out. Um, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use kind of like, it looks, it's like it looks silver when you look at the color and the palette. But since we're using a brown base, it gives it more like a brown silver. Um, and I'm currently, this is my, the Flirt Limited Edition eyeshadow palette, which I kind of like I'm in love with right now because it has so many nice colors. Um, the color we're using is this one here. Um, so like if you see it, it looks silver. Where is it? This one. Um, but once you put it on that base, it doesn't look so silver. So I'm going to go in with just like a large eyeshadow brush. And we're just going to focus this on the lid and then kind of taking it into the crease. So once we have that applied, we are going to use a different palette. Um, for the next eyeshadow, we're going to be using the Coastal Scents um, Warm Palette. And we're just going to kind of blend it out with the soft brown. And it is this brown here, which is like the last row, the fourth one up. Um, it's just like a soft brown. And I'm just going to be taking my Sigma... Uh, E35 blending brush, picking up some of that color, and then just kind of blending that harsh line out. We're also going to take a different blending brush, and we're going to go in with a softer, more like skin tone color to just completely blend that out. And it is this one here. Hope you guys can see that. It is the fifth row like coming this way, the fourth one up, and then just go over this. Take whatever highlight you want to use and apply the highlight. So right now, I'm going to leave you guys for a minute. I'm going to go line my lids with the New York Color Liquid Liner and do my lashes and all that stuff. So this is pretty much the finished look. Um, I'm probably just going to do like a pink neutral lip. Um, and yeah, like I really am liking this eye color because it's like silver, but then it doesn't look super silver, so I'm really liking it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and thank you for watching.